This is Colin O'Keefe with Nithya Das of Goodwin Proctor. Uh, we're just coming out of her session on, uh, you know, Facebook, LinkedIn, those different types of things at the social media seminar at Practicing Law Institute. One of the things that you talked about, uh, obviously, as somebody who authors on the, it's the Founders Toolbox, correct? Right, it's the Founders Workbench. Founders Workbench. And one of the things that you talked about was Founder Fridays, where you go out and you interview influential people. Um, one of the, the most popular things with social media is the ability to, to leverage these tools to meet different people. Can you talk a little bit just about those, those Founder Fridays and how those have enabled you to connect with different people? Um, sure. So it's you know it's been a great platform for meeting um, founders of startup companies in New York and and otherwise. So it's been a great way to sort of just engage the community and and to give back to the community. Nice, nice. Um, one other thing that you mentioned, aside from working, of course, on the the founders workbench, aside from using social media professionally, you also write on food and these different types of things. You 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 have the professional account that you work in association with the publication and also your own personal Twitter account. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned the, the need for attorneys to be authentic in using social media. Why is that really important to get out and really be yourself? Well, you know, I think that um, there's often this analogy between Twitter being sort of like a giant cocktail party. And so in the same way that if you were to meet people at a cocktail party, you know, you want to be interesting, you want to engage people. I think that particularly as a lawyer, you really need to show yourself to be multidimensional. Um, and for me, you know, food is something that I happen to be passionate about. For somebody else, it might be sports or, um, or you know, maybe movies or something. And so I think it's just good to sort of give um, the community of a well-rounded picture, mm -hmm. um, especially if something that you're doing, you know, we're in a client services industry, so you want to uh, portray that that well-rounded image to mm -hmm. people. Do you find yourself connecting professionally with people over the things that you put out there personally? Um, I do. Well, everybody loves food, and so that's always an easy thing to talk to people about, to talk to them about cooking or restaurants that they're going to, mm -hmm. and so it becomes just a good a good way to open up a dialogue that's not necessarily just related to the law. Mm -hmm. And, and the last thing more specifically, and I was just interested in this because I'm kind of the same way, is you mentioned that you really prefer using Twitter to find different articles and different pieces of information as opposed to a RSS reader, which a lot of different people use because sometimes it's hard to, to, to check up on those things to keep them updated and those different types of things. Can you talk about how you use Twitter just to track information in different articles and that type of thing? Um, sure. So, you know, just as I sort of read through my Twitter stream, um, I might see an article that somebody's uh, tweeted or retweeted, and so then I would save it with Instagram and maybe read it later if I'm, you know, I'm reading it on the subway maybe and I want to read it when I get to my desk. Um, so that would be sort of one great way to, to just keep track of information. And then Twitter has a, a ton of tools within it in terms of lists that you can create to, um, to follow, you know, maybe different areas of interest. Mm -hmm. Definitely, definitely. Perfect. That was all the questions that I had. Thank you. Great. Thanks.